Hello friends, this is Rainer again. Welcome back to getting yourself organized without mode, my small screencast where I try to introduce you to the org mode system. In today's snippet we will have a look at a function that is agenda mode a bit advanced. You know uh, when we want to have an agenda the entry point is control C A and we get the menu here and if you see if we press A uh, that was already in episode 1 we see a weekly schedule where we see when we have scheduled things this is today's date the 14th of June and you see I'm already procrastinating that task at the birthday gift for the wife and I am also should uh, work on the text declaration and so on you see the upcoming deadlines in 10 days and in 11 days and you see what's scheduled tomorrow and what's scheduled on Friday and uh, today we have a task there that says waiting for a spare part delivery and now let's pretend uh, let me go to follow mode and let's pretend that uh, the spare part those chain that I need has arrived postman ringed and yeah I'm happy the chain is here so we can finish this task we can mark it as done you can do this either in the upper window or you are here on the task you press ctrl C ctrl T as usual and you say it's done so you see up there it's marked as done and we are fine go out of that so this was the, the already known uh, weekly schedule but you can also let me save that uh, you can also have a timeline for the current buffer for this file that we have here you say control C A and then capitalized L and now you see a timeline that says on the 11th of June there was a schedule get the birthday gift for the wife yesterday there was the schedule start preparing text declaration uh, today was scheduled and now it's done delivery of the spare part tomorrow is a scheduled event and so on and here you see in red there are the deadlines so this view is just showing you uh, your timeline based on the schedules and deadlines that you defined in your org mode file let's quit that as well you remember <coughs> we have introduced a lot of um, keywords and just imagine you want to be there and you want to say okay CA and now I want to match um, some to-do entries or I want to see all to-do entries let's start with all to-do entries it's just the letter T then you see this is the, the file name of my org mode file that mylife.org and you see this is uh, all open to-do items that I still have to do even the projects are considered to be open to-do items until I finish them so you see there is everything and here you have a menu that says okay you can limit that a bit you could type let's say I want to, to see everything uh, that is uh, marked as a someday item then I just have to press um, 4 and R and then this uh, buffer is re-evaluated and I see only the someday parts of it on the other hand you can uh, go out of uh, your agenda view go back to the menu and you press capitalized T then you can say okay now please I want to have a special to-do keywords I could say I want the some days or I want in, in this case let's pretend we want to see all next items and or everything that is to do so if I call that then you see the same file we have every to do keyword that is either next or to do so I see what's on my plate what do I have to do I don't see the projects 
I don't see the some days. I just see what I wanted to see. Okay. Now we are here. You can also match tags or properties. So in this case we could oh sorry. That was the wrong C A. Now we do that small m and let's say we want all family. You see I, I have written F A from my predefined text and it's enough to press tab and I have the thing and now you see this is all family business. Uh, it's practically what's uh, here that we say we have that family, that, that upper headline that with the family tag and this tag is inherited to all of the level 2 headlines. So you see every entry has that family and we have that shopping and family phone and so on. And if you want to change your selection you could uh, enter control U and R. So let's try control U R. And now I want to match. Let's let's think I, I want I have five minutes of time. I want to do a phone call. My my mobile phone is in front of me. I have a bit of time, so let me see what phone calls are scheduled. And then I see okay I have that call text layer that comes from this block, from the legal obligations. This is this to do. Or I want to call Uncle Tom because he was undergoing a surgery and I want to know if he's well or not. So this is practically um, doing that. You can even extend it if you look in the documentation. You could say Control C, uh, A, and then I want to match phone, but I just want to match the next. And you see, I have selected the tag phone and I want just to see the next actions and then I just get this line. So this feature allows you a lot because now you, you are able to have a timeline, you have a, a schedule for today where you see how much you procrastinated the jobs that you try, should have started in the past and you can select things like uh, phone calls or you can select for urgent uh, tasks or whatever based on the text. You can limit your view to a special keyboard. For example, if I have a list of, of waiting tasks that happened to me today in the office, I had a, around 10 uh, waiting for where I was waiting for delivery from other people and I said, okay, show me the list every waiting for. And then I go sequentially through it and either I call or send a mail to everybody that should have sent something to me and didn't do it and I follow up and say, hey, what's on? Uh, can we cancel that? Is that finished? Do you need something from me? Otherwise, if, if he doesn't respond until, let's say, tomorrow or whatever, then I say, okay, I cancel that in my uh, system here so that I don't care anymore for that. Okay, this was uh, matching keyboards. Uh, you remember this uh, family thing? Let's let's try again. See a match for family. You see here, I have that headline as well from family business. And if I do see a shift M, that's uh, matching only to dos. Uh, make family, then you see I don't see that headline anymore. I just see the free to dos. So you can build a lot of, of things. You, you have it's it's like a database. You can define a, a, a few that you want to see. And in the worst case, if you don't have a clue what what do am I looking for, you can search. That's the last one we want to try here. C A S. And now I say okay, there was something with a chain somewhere in my file. Let me show. And then I see delivery of the chain. I can use the follow mode to see what happened. Okay, delivery of the chain is done. And the next one mount chain. Okay, now I since I have the chain I could do it because uh, there is nothing blocking me from doing this task. So I can CT 
move it to be your next task. Quit. You see now in this project we are advanced. The first step is done. Chain is delivered. Next is I can mount it. I can schedule that. Control C S. Let's do that tomorrow. Okay, guys. This is all for advanced agenda mode. If you look at the documentation on the web, there is there's a lot more that you can try out. But I hope this gave you an impression what's possible, and you can play around uh, a lot, and you really can customize it for your needs. And yes, customizing will be the next topic that we handle in the next small snippet, maybe tomorrow or whenever I have time. Thanks again for listening and for watching. Uh, I'm already uh, happy that uh, every day I have time to record one small snippet. I hope you like it. Please uh, give me some feedback so that I know how I can improve. Thanks again and see you on the next snippet.